I have a serious itch to buy another motorcycle. I've got cash in hand and I'm ready to buy my next dream motorcycle. So I jumped on my 450 Supermoto, headed down to this dealership that is absolutely loaded with motorcycles. And man, if I can't find my dream motorcycle in here, then I'm not going to find it. Let's go for a ride. Oh, no. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continue to leave video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through wear an airbag vest to help keep you safe out here on the streets which i have a link to in the description and comment section of this video guys whenever i go into a motorcycle dealership one of the best looking motorcycles that I come across is the old school Yamaha R6. I think this is still a fantastic looking bike. Yes, it's a top end bike and best suited for the track and posers out here on the street. Uh, I'd love to have one as a track only bike one day and maybe I will. But some of you guys recommend a Kawasaki ZX14R that you see here. Tons of torque, one of the fastest bikes out here on the streets. Too big for cycle cruiser though. Check this out. Old school Aprilia, man. Hey, they got some reliable bikes out here. Check it out. Kawasaki ZX6R. Cool bike, man. But if I get a Kawasaki, it has to be in Kawasaki green. Sorry. Hey, check it out. A Husqvarna Vitpolin 401 Cafe Racer looking bike. This is the first time I ever saw this bike in person, man. And I'm not really feeling the whole cafe racer look, but hey, to each his own. I'm sure it's a really cool and fun bike to ride. Let's see what else they got going on around here. Check it out, a Yamaha Bolt. I did a video on this years ago when it first came out, man. I think this is a cool little bike, and this is absolutely awesome for those of you guys that are looking for a great starter bike. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the big old classic cruisers but uh i could see the appeal of them because anything on two wheels moves the soul all right we have the kawasaki z1000 sport touring bike here uh pretty cool bike from what i hear i'm not really in the sport touring motorcycles at least not at this time but hey maybe in the future hey the dual sport lineup my favorite baby <laughs> yeah suzuki drz 400 Honda CRF 450 L WR 250R. Check it out. Honda CRF 450 L. I sat on this bike at another dealership, man. It does not feel as cool as my YZ 450 FX. It feels more top heavy, but still a cool bike. A hey, scooter action. Honda Gromskis. Maybe I should mix it up and get a Honda Gromski. Kawasaki ZX 6R. Yeah, baby. And maybe for the track one day. Yamaha MT-09. Every time I come across this bike, I'm like, you know what, Psycho Cruiser, man? You need to pick one of these up. They're just so cheap. Oh, my goodness, man. But it feels like a top-heavy supermoto to me. It just is odd to me, man. I mean, this is not a bike I can take up staircases and crap around off-road. I mean, that's strictly for the street. But I don't know. Maybe one day. Check it out. The GSX S750. I think I get the 1,000, but I'm sure, but you don't need a 1,000 out here on the streets to be honest with you. But I get the 1,000 anyhow, just because I can. <laughs> and here's an older FZ09. It was extremely budget, had the budget suspension back then. Hey, check it out. That is the Kawasaki Ninja 650. Fantastic bike. Another great bike, starter bike for you guys out there. What do we got here? It was another 650? Hey, the S, the Suzuki SV650. A lot of you guys tell me this is an absolutely awesome bike. Very standard looking, uh, but from what everybody tells me, it's an absolutely cool bike. Just it has no pizzazz for me, personally. Just too basic. But check this out, man. We got a Suzuki Hayabusa. Tons of torque. A lot of you guys said Psycho Cruiser. This is the bike you want if you're looking for torque and power. But I'll tell you, this thing feels like an absolute whale sitting on it, man. It's just huge. 
not for me, man. Just not my style, at least not at this time. But I'll never say never because you know me, man. I, I'll talk crap about this bike and the next thing you know, I own it. <laughs> Man, these bikes are extremely popular here in Ohio and a lot of places. Baggers, I don't see the appeal of them, but for those of you guys that do long, super long rides and just want to chill and have like the Cadillac Escalade type of motorcycle, then these are your motorcycles, man. But these are some big bruisers, big old whopper bikes, man. Uh, got everything. Stereo system. Check it out. We got the Aprilia lineup, baby. Yeah. I will never buy another Aprilia again. <laughs> I tell you, man. They make some good looking bikes and they're fun bikes. Don't get me wrong, man. But I just don't trust them. I don't trust them, man. But I tell you, absolutely gorgeous bikes. They got all the power you want. And sexy good looks. Look at that RSV4, looking proper. But a lot of you mature riders out there, like Cycle Cruiser, you need to grow up and get a real man's bike, a Harley Davidson, like this bike here. And you'll be riding proper out here, instead of acting like a little boy on your supermoto. Well, I'm not growing up yet, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not ready for this yet. <laughs> I'm having too much fun on my supermoto and sport bikes, baby. But anyways, check it out. We got some we got some trikes here. For those of you guys that can't keep a bike up on two wheels, those that's a good option for you, man. Some baggers. I tell you, my buddy he got rid of his sport bike and he got him a bagger. He's like cycle cruising, man. You don't know what you're missing. I'm telling you, saying real men ride baggers. Quit acting like a kid, cycle cruiser. Grow up, man. I don't want to grow up yet. <laughs> check it out. We got some cruisers here. I like these cruisers now. Hey, check it out. A Honda Fury. Wow, man. That's a good looking bike. But I'll tell you, I would not be riding one of these bikes, man. It would just make me feel like I'm trying to be a douchebag out here on the streets and look cool or something. <laughs> the whole raked out front end, man. But I'll tell you, if I wanted a chopper, I would definitely get the Honda Fury because it's going to be a reliable bike. Compared to some of them other homemade choppers out there, man. And uh, from what I hear, this is a, actually a pretty cool bike. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll pick one of these up in the future, man. And just ride out in the country with it and chill. Let's ride low rider style, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Or maybe not. <laughs> Moving on. The granddaddy of all motorcycles. The Honda Goldwing. <laughs> yeah baby I tell you these look a lot better than the old gold wings man these actually look pretty cool but this again this is like riding around this is like your Cadillac Escalade motorcycle man this thing's got everything on it huge big old heavy bike but I'll tell you Honda you made it look a lot better and we got the scooter lineup the Honda Ruckus Hey, no Chinese scooters, man. <laughs> hey, scooters are fun, though. Don't get me wrong, man. I had a blast on my little Chinese scooter until it crapped out. Uh, what else we got around here? Got some adventure bikes. Yeah, real men ride adventure bikes, right, guys? Like I said, I'm not ready to grow up yet. <laughs> hey, check it out. The Yamaha XSR 900. Basically, it's an MT-09 with a different look, more of the cafe racer look, which I'm not really into, man. I actually like the MT-09, looks better, but I'm sure it's a cool bike. Hey, check it out, the Suzuki M109, our boss, muscle cruiser. This is basically a Suzuki Hayabusa in a cruiser package that has a shaft drive. 128 horsepower, 118 pounds feet of torque. It's got some serious torque, man, but that is one big bike, guys. I sat on this bike at another dealership. Man, it feels like a monster. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, check it out. Another Yamaha Bolt. I'm telling you guys, sitting on this bike, man, this bike feels pretty cool. Nice little bike. It's got some zip. 
this is a fantastic bike for those of you guys looking for a nice starter bike. This is your bike right here. Or for those of you uh, that have been riding for a long time, this is a really great cruiser as well. Hey, check it out. A Suzuki GSX-R600. I like that all-white paint scheme, man. That looks pretty cool. But if I were to get a 600, it would only be for the track and it would probably be a Yamaha R6. But let's see what else they got here. They got to have something I'd want to take home. Um, not a cruiser, I don't know, maybe in the future I'll probably get another cruiser, but, um, I don't know what I'm looking for right now, to be honest with you guys, I'm just looking for a really cool motorcycle, and there's a lot of cool motorcycles here. Alright, check it out, the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R. They have not changed the looks of this bike in many years, dating back to all the way to 2012, but I'll tell you, it's a really good looking bike. Uh, cartoonish good looking man still even today here in 2020 um, but definitely a track only bike because it's all top end oh my goodness what is this oh my god the Yamaha Nikon or however you say that name that is one weird motorcycle man oh my gosh this thing's a whale look how huge it is guys whoa it's so big they tell you not to sit on it man <laughs> Hey, look, it's got two front wheels. That is just crazy. I don't know what Yamaha was thinking to come up with something like this, man. All right, the Honda Africa Twin. So many of you viewers have recommended that I get this bike. Like I said, I'm not really ready for an adventure bike at this time. But if I were ever to get one, it would probably be a Honda Africa Twin, man. Super reliable, good-looking bike. Uh, oh, man. Really good looking bike. I like that. I like the looks. I'm not usually in the red bikes, but I do like that red, white, and black color scheme. Looks sharp. All right, let me get out of here. I didn't really see anything that I wanted. Uh, Four-wheeler, I'd rather have a dirt bike, to be honest with you. Those things are fun, though. Don't get me wrong. But I'm back on the bike, guys, and I'm headed down to Camper World to go check out some classy RVs. Stay tuned. I checked out some really cool classy RVs because I want to buy one, man. So stay tuned for that. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. <laughs>